So we've got uh, Peter's uh, end pieces all paired up where need be. We've also done Paul's uh, pieces and we've also done Tom's pieces, pairing them up. And uh, as I was going through, checking to make sure that things were flush with the top, I came across a couple where it, one of the pieces wasn't flush with the other one. So what I've done is I've taken my orbital sander and uh, sanded that edge, so oh, that's nice, so that it's now uh, flush. And uh, I'm going to make sure that I've got my numbers and letters back on here. So this is 3E and 2D. So I'm going to go through the other uh, pieces and make sure that everything is, is nice and flush. We've uh, gathered the same materials and tools that we used for our previous Tina install. Uh, as before, we want to have things close at hand when we install the T-nut sleeves and the T-nuts. The uh, we don't want to be looking for a 2-inch bolt when all we've got at hand is a, a one inch bolt with the, the epoxy oozing uh, down our fingers. So what we have here is we have the end pieces that have been paired up uh, and fastened together with the wood screws. We've got our 5 16th inch bolt. This is now two inches uh, long. We're gonna use the bolt to torque uh, the T-nut sleeve and the T-nut together so that they're properly aligned with each other. This is the secret for getting things almost perfectly aligned. Uh, we've got our ratchet, the half inch socket. We make sure that it fits over the head of the of the, uh, of the bolt and that it's uh, going in the right direction to tighten, not to loosen. Uh, we've got our T-nut sleeves. We've painted the washer part of the sleeve red and uh, we want to make sure that the bolt slides through very easily. Uh, we've got our T-nuts and again make sure that the T-nut threads nicely onto uh, the bolt. We've got uh, toothpicks. Uh, we're going to use them to uh, mix up and apply the epoxy glue. Uh, we've got our epoxy resin and hardener. Uh, we're using uh, the five minute kind. Uh, we've got some plastic lids here. This is what we're going to uh, mix the epoxy resin and the hardener on. Uh, we've got some odorless Varsol from Canadian Tire. Uh, that we're going to use that for cleaning the epoxy off our fingers. And we've got a rag and a dish that we're going to soak in Varsol uh, to clean the epoxy off our hands. I don't want to be reaching for something and I can't find it close by. Um, it, we've also got a screwdriver uh, because once we've installed the the T-nuts and the T-nut sleeves, we want to separate the pairs together, uh, make sure that the epoxy hardens uh, properly. And uh, underneath it all, some wax paper uh, to help us with a, an easy cleanup. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our bolt and we're going to give it a good wipe with Varsol. That will help to keep the epoxy off the threads. Uh, because we don't want the bolt stuck halfway in the T-nut because the epoxy hardened uh, before we were able to unscrew uh, the bolt. All of this stuff uh, is within easy reach uh, because once we start to mix and apply the epoxy, uh, things are going to move really fast. So let's get started. So we're ready to start uh, installing the T-nut sleeves and the T-nuts into the pairs that we have screwed together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I've got two T-nut sleeves and two T-nuts uh, close at hand. Uh, we load the washer of the T-nut sleeve with epoxy. So we'll mix up some epoxy here. You want to make sure that you mix up enough to goop up the two T-nut sleeves and the two T-nuts. You don't want to 
end up with the job halfway done and we've run out of epoxy. So we're going to mix that up. Doesn't take a lot to mix up epoxy. And we're going to take the T-nut sleeve and we're going to load up the washer part of the T-nut on the underside with some epoxy. Now, with the two end pieces facing us, the top is up, we are going to insert the T-nut sleeve in the side, on the right hand side. So we now take the T-nut, goop it up with some epoxy, spread it around on the underside of the washer part of the T-nut, and we insert the T-nut on the left side. We now take our two inch bolt, thread it through, and screw it into the T-nut on the other side. Take our ratchet, and we torque the T-nut sleeve and the T-nut together. in all the way. There. Got it torqued in. And now we take out our bolts. and if there's any epoxy on the bolts, we clean off the bolts. Okay, top, red on the right, T-nut on the left. Now we flip it in for end, red on the right. So we take another T-nut sleeve and we Loop it up with some more epoxy. We don't have to be fancy when we're gooping up the sleeve. So we put the sleeve in, take a T-nut, the tina with some epoxy. Insert the tina into the hole. Take our bolt. Hands are getting a little messy here. Insert it in. And screw it in. As soon as the bolt catches the thread on the T-nut, it starts to pull the T-nut into alignment. And we torque them both together. Nice and snug. That's about 
it. Take the bolt out. epoxy on the bolt so this is where our rag soaked in varsal comes handy that's done now we take our screwdriver unscrew out flip it in for end Second screw out, separate the two pieces, and there we go, one pair. Alignment bolt T-nuts installed. I'm going to set them aside and let them dry for 24 hours. It takes that long for the epoxy to set nice and hard. And on with the next pair. Up. So we've got the next pair of end pieces for Peter's modules. Two T-nut sleeves, two T-nuts. We mix up some epoxy. Make sure we've got enough to epoxy in the four pieces. Two T-nut sleeves, two T-nuts. Stir it up the epoxy a bit. Mix it up. And then coat the underside of the washer part of the T nut sleeve. And goop it up generously. So we've got our T nut sleeve gooped up. We put it in on the right side, Y the right side, and that just happens to be the, the convention that we picked. You could put it in on the left side if you wanted, but I think right on the red sounds good. Goop up the underside of the watcher for the T-nut. The T-nut goes in on the left side. Take our two inch bolt, feed it through. It's giving us a little bit of trouble, but we'll just give it a little whack. There we go. Got it in there. And now we crank it in. both the T-nut sleeve and the T-nut together. Our bolt ensures that they're going to be pretty well aligned. The spurs are digging nicely into the red. And the epoxy is now starting to ooze out from underneath the T-nut sleeve. Filling up the countersunk part very nicely with epoxy. When we've got this all done, we'll go back and fill up any spaces that aren't filled up with epoxy. We'll drizzle in some epoxy to, to fill up those spaces. that we've got on the on the bolt. Okay, flip it end for end. Make sure 
here we're at the top. Take the other T-nut sleeve. Put it in the hole. Take the T-nut. the epoxy to the underside of the washer. Put it in the hole. Glad to have that rag. the thread on the T-nut and turn it in. And then we crank in the T-nut. Very nicely. Oh. There, that's nice and tight. Take out the bolt. Not quite out yet. the T-nut sleeve and the T-nut nicely installed. So now we take our screwdriver one screw out at the other end, take it out, separate the two pieces, and there we go. T-nut sleeve, T-nut, T-nut sleeve, T-nut. So we've got the T-nut sleeves and the um, T-nuts installed in the end pieces that we paired together. We're now left with two end pieces. One end piece is going to be at the far end of module number one, be connected with somebody else's modules. And we've got the end piece that's going to be um, at the far end of module number four, which is going to be connected to somebody else's modules. We could leave the holes that we drilled for the T-nut sleeves and the T-nuts, we could leave those empty. However, I prefer to load the end pieces, these end pieces that are going to be connected to somebody else's modules. I like to uh, install T-nuts and T-nut sleeves because maybe sometime in the future I want to build another module set that I can connect with bolts 
without having to use heavy duty C clamps. I might want to connect the, the set that I'm going to build in the future to this set that I'm going to build right now. Now, I'm going to follow the same principle. And that principle being top, red on the right. So, I goop up a red T-nut sleeve with epoxy and the underside of the washer part of the T-nut sleeve. I insert it in the hole. Then I take my one inch bolt with the fender washer, slide it through. Now, I don't have any threads to pull in the T-nut sleeve, but I do have a bolt, or a nut, which I can then hold the nut in place, take my ratchet, and crank that T-nut sleeve into place. we go. Peanut sleeve nicely installed. Undo the nut. And we now flip it end for end. So now the T-nut will be on the left. Take the T-nut, goop it up, Again, the underside of the washer part of the T-nut. Fit it in the hole. Take my one inch bolt with the fender washer. Put it in. And tighten it up. And piece number one at the far end is done. Let's do end piece number two. Okay. Red is going to be on the right. Take the T nut sleeve, apply the epoxy to the underside. Fit it in the hole. Take my one inch bolt with the fender washer. Take the nut. Thread it on. Take the wrench to hold the nut in place. Ratchet it. Cranks it down. Remove the bolts. T-nut 
sleeve installed. Flip it in for end. Top. T nut is on the left. Scoop it up. for the epoxy here. Fit it in the hole. My fingers are getting sticky. Take the one inch bolt with the fender washer. Screw it in. Take the ratchet. Snug. Remove the bolt. Top. T nut on the left. Top. T nut uh, sleeve on the right. We have now finished installing. T-nuts and T-nut sleeves for the alignment bolts to bolt our modules together on with the next one step.